Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome to the two-week Princess Auto two-week sale flyer. Starts uh, February 18th. February 18th to March 1st. Favorite place on the planet. If I could live there, I might. <laughs> All right, let's get ya. The right position here. All right, what do we got on the front page? We got a fairly good size flyer today, so that's good. Oh, well, we got some fluid film. That's actually a fairly good price. This is that sheet grease I keep talking about that I like. Uh, works good for pretty much pretty much everything. <laughs> it works good for uh, welding cart. Now, that's neat. There's a air dryer and a filter. I don't filter my air. I kind of figure you know it's going through that dryer like my big long tube dryer. Most of the particles or anything that's coming through should probably probably get sucked onto those those pellets once they get a little damp anyways I don't take them a while to get a little dampish but it should the water should attract I would think should attract the, the, the dirt and particles but anyways my air is clean so it's good no I'm, I don't know I'm no idea anyways first one here first page oh it's not stapled perfectly good so what do we got here well we got pumps we got pumps. We got more pumps, so I don't really need pumps right now. There's a three-quarter horse deep well submersible pump and control box. Wow, five hundred and fifty dollars for that three-quarter horse. So that's fairly big. You'd have to run some pretty good wiring down to that. So, anyways, yeah, I don't really need one of them. What do we got on this page? Trailer stuff and tires and jacks, hitches and stuff, brake stuff, spring stuff. Pretty good for that. And what do we got here? Air stuff. Ooh. They still got the post things on there, but I don't need one of them either. Yeah, I don't think they need anything there. What do we got next? Batteries. Ooh, batteries are always good to have. Canada proof, really. Power sports battery. Well, you don't know until you try one. Sometimes they're just junk, but anyways. Oh, I got some nice ramps here. That's pretty cool. Uh, 13,000 pounds, that's pretty decent set of ramps. Uh, hmm. I like my truck now because I don't need ramps. I just climb underneath it. Don't need to worry about it being dangerous. Not gonna fall on you unless something broke, I guess. But uh, what do we got here? Some chain hoists and uh, triangle chain hoist. Chainsaw file, fast file kits. Oh, interesting. Plugs are on sale. That's actually a pretty good deal for the for the plugs. Two forty nine. Hmm. If I was going for something else. I might have picked up some of them just for spares because you know they're kind of good to have. Grab them and throw them in some drawers. And whenever you're looking for one, oh, there's one there. Right? Usually it happens. <laughs> there's the uh, chain ratcheting load binders that I use when I move tractors on there. They're really handy. You just, uh, these things unscrew psh, out of each end. And then you tighten it up manually and then <laughs> with a handle. Oh, it's really good. And we got auto darkening welding helmet with a. Uh, respiratory thing he looks like on a breathing thing <laughs> insufficient airflow alarms alarms when there's insufficient airflow 12,000 watt gasoline generator with electric start hmm wow features 16 horsepower engine 9,000 running watts and includes a battery and the wheel kit includes 120 volt 240 volt AC and 12 volt DC receptacles battery charging same sort of one in a 5,000 watt, too. Well, half the price, too. Nice. Ooh, missed a page. What do we got here? Welding stuff. What is that? Heavy duty multi purse welder. This three in one allows MIG take an arc. Oh, yeah, I have seen that before. $2,000. Oh, ooh. Uh, my stuff's never clean enough for, for the TIG. TIG's good for really super clean stuff bike frames and stuff like that, right? 
What is that? Refurbished two speed 60 pint dehumidifier. Okay. Refurbished over the one. There's some miscellaneous surplusy stuff there. Mobile phone repair kit set thingy there. That's kind of neat. I don't need that. Ooh, air compressor pump. Three horsepower single stage air compressor pump delivers 18 and a half CFM at 100 PSI. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, they used to tell you what kind of size of motor you'd have to run to run that thing. That would be fairly beefy <laughs> to run that one, but anyways. Not too bad. Stainless steel straw variety pack. And that's where they're going to now. And little cleaner brushes too. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm not really zoomed in super too far. but and this miscellaneous surplusy stuff. I don't really need out. Surplusly, surplusly flat screen TV wall mount. Drywall lifter, 11 foot. Those things are handy. Whew. Those guys right up here, nice and handy. Nice pipe wrench. And good for that. Oh, some wrenches. There's one of them stab wrenches. This thing slips on you and you fall forward and stabs you. I don't know what the point of that is. I guess we're putting a bar on, maybe. I don't know. Seems dangerous to me. Got some big sockets here. I still have my big socket set. It's a three-quarter drive, you know. And it doesn't have metric though. It's just got the SAE in mine. But some of the metrics are fairly close. They fit pretty good. So on any big metric stuff, I don't generally use it too often. But eh, you never know when you need it, right? Come in a metal box. And everything is great. Ooh, what do we got here? Wire crimper and terminal crimper thingy. End cut pliers. Doming punch and block set. Hmm. I don't even know what that's for. <laughs> Never don't have one of those. Not too much else there I'm looking at. Some safety stuff, safety kit and stuff. That's good. Oh, there's a nice locker. Self storage. Shelf for shelf storage locker. $2.99. Not too bad. Oh, we're in the center of the page. Center of the book, center of the book, we're in the center of the book. Woo! Okay, well, let's head to the back end. Some cleaning stuff, super clean. That stuff's good, but it is kind of corrosive. So if you use this for like carbon need carbon stuff and like a, you know, engine parts, whatever, they've got carbon on it, works good on it, but it does actually will eat aluminum. This stuff's pretty kind of nasty. And hand cleaner. I don't need any of that stuff. WD-40 specialist. Degreaser too. Nice. Crazy grease. I don't know, I think grease is grease really. Yeah, there's different kinds of grease, but it's all the same greasy purpose, right? Well, there's some lifter things and some, some uh, hand carts. Don't need any of those. Forstener bits. Forstener bits. No, good there too. Some little screwdriver bits. Not really seeing anything other than those plugs that I would probably get out of this flyer, but I don't uh, think I'm going to drive down there just for that. Ooh, this stuff's 35% off. It's normally $70. That's the uh, sodium bicarbonate blasting. It's basically like um, baking soda kind of thing for, for blasting like wooden stuff on the side of your house, or uh, you can do. Uh, brick with it it doesn't it's not bad for the environment that stuff so but the equipment's expensive though right like fifty dollars so eighty dollars for a bag regularly I don't know. you gotta do a whole house how many bags would you need oh boy half a skid Ooh, expensive well some spray paint stuff I don't think I need any of that 12 gallon a minute air operated oil transfer pump oh, good for that too there's a nice compressor Nice compressor. What is that? 80 gallon high flow single stage air compressor. Oh, okay, so that's like the sort of the pump we just saw there. 14 CFM at 90 psi is pretty much the same. And it doesn't say what horsepower motor is. It'd definitely be 220, so I wouldn't be able to run anything like that in my garage unless we run some major juice out. But I don't, I don't think we're going to end up doing that right now anyway. That's a big compressor. I don't really have room for a compressor out there either, like a big, big one. Maybe a smaller lay down one underneath the, underneath the bench or something might be all right, but I'm uh, gonna have to run bigger power out. Nice big stove wire or something where I can actually run 
a couple of circuits. So I got some circuits left in my uh, new box we put in the house here. So, anyways, some lights, tonneau covers, oh wow, drills. Look kind of chintzy. I don't know. Ooh, project showcase. Go check out the project showcase on there. There's lots of cool stuff people have made and invented. Some ramps. Eleven ninety nine for twenty seven foot ten thousand pound ratchet tie down strap. That's pretty good. That's kind of like the ones I run, but they're they're way too long. I'm gonna try to find the wrap half of that up on something for the stuff I use. I could probably cut a few of mine down and just have some shorties. But then there's that time where like, oh great, I wish I had a couple more longer straps. Like for instance, when we had that uh, big th threshing barn threshing machine on the trailer, there we needed big straps for that. And luckily. Pardon me, I had quite a few of them, so. There's a cool little, oops, sorry, the cool little tool, a two-cycle oil mixing tool. I really don't know if I'd trust that or not, but I, mean, I guess it'd be all right. Never used one, but a couple more little transfer pumps, little guys, 12 volts. Diesel transfer pump. Huh, wow. And then a big tank in the back of your truck. That'd be cool, I should get that in the back of my truck, big tank for years on a fuel uh, fill up <laughs> it cost you about three thousand dollars but anyways no it wouldn't be that bad well we got some shop cleaning up tools it looks like i'm gonna have to get into some of them soon too once i get things snorted out out there anyways not too much else oh ceiling fan i'm kind of wondering if i should maybe install one of those or something up onto the top of the roof to blow the hot air back down because it's always so cold like you know just below your waist and to the ground to the floor it's so cold down there i don't know it needs to get the air moving around better but anyways industrial bench grinder stand Ooh, i might have to make another one of these for our bench grinder we'll get that figured out when the weather turns a bit nicer too it's real cold out there right now it's just kind of silly Trying to, trying to work out there and do stuff and it's so bloody cold. But anyways, what we got here? Drill press. It's not too bad. Somewhat like the one I've already got. Fairly close. Two inch pipe and tube notcher. That's kind of neat. And the big shop press. English wheel. A little bench vise. Rotary machine forms up to 22 gauge mild steel. Rotary machine forms. I don't know what it does though. <laughs> it looks like a meat grinder. And there's a pipe bender, hydraulic pipe bender. That'd be all right. And oh, they got their Hondas, the big ones on sale. They're still expensive, even when they're on sale. Wow, they've actually gone up a lot too. The inch and an eighth, uh, 22 horse, which is this one, is regularly $2,800. <laughs> oh, one for $23.99. For a big twin cylinder. Wow, that's expensive. Good motors, though. Last for friggin' ever. But, uh, wow, we You're paying for her there. And a bit of hydraulic stuff. Gasoline hammer drill breaker. wonder how that would work. Gasoline powered. Might be all right. Ooh, there's something I should probably pick up. Is a 60-piece key stock kit. That's actually really cheap. Metric and SAE. Really? I didn't even know they had that metric. I thought they would be all, like different thicknesses but metric and SAE really so there's two different kits there it looks like and of course this one ends in 229 the SAE kit well that is it for our flyer this week from uh, February February 18th to March 1st yay March better weather coming <laughs> got some WD-40 on the back there still got the light bars on there 13 and a quarter dual row light bar for $45 that seems expensive to me, and you know. Anyways, that is it for, where are we here? February 18th to March 1st, two week sale for Princess Auto. Anyways, that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you have a good day. Ooh, chainsaw. Pull on.